Hello, everybody. Happy full moon. It's Queen of Light 1111 here with your full moon reading. Oh my God, it took me probably about two hours just to put this together because I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I did add a karmic reading to this just because, I don't know, I was guided. I wanted to know like what's being released, what is being initiated. Um, so I have that here in the energies for the masculine and the feminine. I have their overall energy. I have the themes for the reading. And then, like I typically do, head, heart, and environment for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Finally, current connective energies and the karmic reading, okay? Um, for those of you that have karmic situations, I actually changed the, um, the, the, like, the angle of this. So let me know if you guys like it or whatever. Be kind, be nice. Uh, but I just, you know, I want to be able to show you like the whole table, but you know, there's never a good angle because I use so many cards. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, um, if you want to book your own personal reading with me, go to queenoflight1111.com. Also, as you guys know, if you are following me on Instagram, I am giving away one free 30 minute twin flame energy check-in. You must be subscribed as a um, YouTube viewer on my channel because I will check and you must be following me on Instagram at Queen of Light 1111 in order to qualify. Those are the first two things to qualify. Then the third thing to qualify is to put your advice out about surrender and detachment and what has successfully worked for you okay this is a forum this is a community of sharing and i want to be able to help people detach and surrender and let go and we've got you know probably over i don't know last time i checked over 170 180 comments um on my instagram almost 200 comments and if you guys want to um you know, participate in that giveaway, then you've got to be subscribed on YouTube. You have to be following me on Instagram. And then your um, advice that you give, um, as people read it, I'm, I'm asking them to like it, right? Because the, the person with the most likes will, the, the person with the most likes on their advice will win. And if there's a tie, then um, I will be the tie breaker, okay? So three things to qualify. One, you must be subscribed on YouTube to my channel. You must be following me on Instagram at Queen of Light 1111. And then your advice that you give around surrender and detachment must be the highest liked comment um, on my Instagram page. So don't comment here. Do not comment on YouTube. It does not count. It must be a comment on the post in my Instagram, okay? Again, if you want to book your own personal reading, go to queenoflight1111.com. And um, it's a beautiful reading today. I'm really, really excited to be doing this reading. Um, there's a lot of energies happening here. So I really feel like what I want to do is I want to get the karmic reading over with, okay? Um Let's go ahead and do that and put that energy away, okay? First card out for what is happening in this connection as far as third parties and karmics for the divine masculine. First card out, hanged man. There's nothing going on. Things are suspended. What's suspended? Strength. So he's in an energy of suspending any ties with any karmic to gain his strength, to gain his equilibrium, to gain his personal power back. There is stress when there's third parties and um, karmics in his life. And so he's in an energy of he's not moving towards anybody. Four of Pentacles is a stubborn energy. He's really in self-care. He's trying to get into his power. And he's in an energy of I'm not telling any third parties what I'm thinking. I'm not moving towards them. I'm not speaking my heart. And so this stress is that, you know, they create stress in his life. He's not moving towards any new beginning. And so rejection, five of pentacles, there's an energy of abandonment. There's an energy of, you know, um, either he has been rejecting people or he's been rejected. And so there's this energy here of, you know, feeling left out, not being in a commitment. Six of cups, 
um, clarifies that for, so that means like he's rejecting any past connections, any past partners, and he's walking away from them. Eight of cups. Next card out, eight of pentacles. He's doing his work. He's mastering himself for stability, for potential union with a divine partner where he seeks equality. Last card is two of swords. Again, it's a card of I'm not doing anything. Stalemate. I'm not doing anything. I'm going within. What are we doing? Going full circle. He's going within to get his power, to stand in his personal power. So in this two of swords energy, he's looking at himself. He's looking at his personal truth. This is the hierophant. This is about traditions this is about traditional relationships so that's what he's really looking for in this stability in this i'm not moving towards anybody in his enlightenment he knows he doesn't want casual flings okay so he's gone within he's looking at himself he's looking at traditions traditional connections and he's guarding himself seven of wands he's just not he's like i almost feel like he's rejecting he's walking away and he's trying to fight people off Okay, so I really feel that. The interesting thing is we have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands um, in the upright as the bottom of the deck. I don't typically read reversals, but here I did. And so this is about waiting and manifesting. And this is like he knows that this is not where he's going to get his emotional bliss. In a third-party situation, he's not going to find his emotional bliss. Okay, so there's not much going on in the third-party um, world, but I just thought, or the karmic world, I just thought that I would do this as a check-in just to see, because I was curious because a different kind of queen showed up in his overall energy. But after I clarified it, it is divine feminine. And I know why divine feminine is in that energy. So this is the karmic situation. Let's go ahead and get started with the moon energies. Okay. So I asked um, for divine masculine specifically, I asked, what is divine masculine going to be releasing and what is he going to be initiating in his um, energy today during the full moon? And I thought it was super interesting that look at this. What is he going to be releasing? this masculine energy for me this really feels like distorted masculine energy and i say that because our feminine is in distorted masculine energy what is he going to be initiating protection look at the numbers of these cards 24 and 42 this card came out first this card came out next this is an energy this is like they're mirroring he's going from distorted to divine masculine Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the clarifiers and then you'll understand more what I'm talking about. This masculine energy is releasing four of cups. Four of cups is missed opportunities. Four of cups is regret. Four of cups is about repetitive patterns. Okay, so when this divine, when this masculine card comes out, number 42, when that card comes out, this is really about you know, a masculine getting into his energy to be the leader, to lead, to have power, to learn a new skill, to offer protection to someone that may be weaker than him, to, you know, taking steps to improve his vitality and his health. But when this card came out as four, four, with four of cups for me, this is really telling me he's releasing his ego energy of I'm the masculine, I'm the protector, I'm going to heal and I'm going to do what I want to do. This ego energy, this distorted masculine energy in his repetitive cycle is going to be released. This is what mas divine masculine is releasing. What is he initiating? Protection and the emperor. Oh my God, you can't make this up. I literally like stop breathing for a minute. So what is he manifesting? What is he initiating in this energy in this full moon? Well, this moon Oh, by the way, this distorted masculine energy is called the lunar god. So he's releasing his shadow, okay? So now this, this energy in the moon's oracle is the waning crescent, number one. This is about protection. This is all about his higher power, that his higher power is a loving and protective energy, that he knows that he is loved and protected. He doesn't have to guard himself from his feminine, he doesn't have to fight his feminine. Remember, we saw all of these energies 
in his energy with the karmic situation that, you know, he's suspended trying to gain his strength. There's stress. He's not moving towards them. There's rejection. He's walking away. He's working hard. He wants stability and he's fighting them off. And so he, in, his, in his energy of this, you know, wounded masculine energy that he's releasing, he's just like, man, I got to fight everybody. I got to fight people off. This is constant stress for me. So he's releasing this energy of this pattern of attracting partners that are not good for him, that are a toxic, that keep him stuck in distorted masculine energy. And he's initiating this energy of coming into this loving, healed emperor energy right that he can be with his feminine he can be protective and protect id okay this is about trust in himself this is about fresh starts right this is about you know moving forward in confidence and surrendering and letting go and not having to control everything as the distorted masculine I'm telling you you can't make this up this is how they flew out so this is what he's doing he's coming into full emperor healed divine masculine mode that's what he's doing in this moon in this leo moon that's what he's doing so now let's talk about divine feminine okay what is she releasing and what is she um healing okay so what is she releasing in this energy discernment with the seven of pentacles this is a number 10 card. This is completion. So what Divine Feminine is having a very, very difficult time with right now is her judgment. She's really kind of in this like fight or flight um, energy, okay? And, and her overall energy is distorted, which is why she did not come out. She came out as every queen and high priestess, but she did not come out as Queen of Cups. That's the only queen she didn't come out as because her heart... She's very much in her fire energy. She's very much in her queen of swords energy. She's trying to be very logical. You know, she's just protecting her heart at this time. And so what she's releasing is this over judgment, this over, over analyzation of this connection that is just keeping her in an energy of feeling very, very um, distorted. Okay, so when this discernment card comes out, remember, it's a number 10 card. It's about completion. This is about her, like, having to look at everything closely, observe closely. You know, am I missing something? Is he doing something? You know, this, this constant observation. And the seven of pentacles clarifies it. It's like, because there's so much weight, because there's been so much pause, she's just been an area of observation, trying to figure everything out. And she's got to release this. She's got to release this energy. So what is she going to be initiating um, in the full moon? Creation. Creation. This is the beaver moon. Creation. She is going to be in this energy where she listens to her intuition. She is guided by her intuition. She starts to understand more things under this moon. She understands that she can create her own destiny and that she needs to welcome the process of creation, be receptive to the messages that she's getting. And this two of wands clarifies it. And so this is her kind of on the precipice, at the crossroads of letting go of her 3D perceived reality and really going into her intuition to create something very beautiful for herself in her life and with her masculine potentially okay that is what she is releasing and that is what she is initiating now let's go ahead and go to their overall energy the overall energy for divine masculine is serendipity this is beautiful first of all i love this word serendipity like who doesn't like saying that word right serendipity is such a beautiful word and it's beautiful even even in its meaning okay in its meaning it's about you know letting things happen letting fate decide surrendering having faith having trust having belief so when serendipity comes out this is about trusting that the journey is going to unfold naturally and gracefully and that he doesn't need to control everything maybe he's been a masculine that has had to always control his environment maybe he was in a job where he had to constantly control his environment and so this is an energy now that, you know, as part of his towers and his shakeups, he's just learning to surrender. He's learning to trust. 
He's learning that timing is a key element of life, that things unfold, things happen as they are supposed to at the perfect time. And so what is the serendipity about? What is he allowing to unfold at its perfect time? Well, communication and movement forward. Okay, so progress. His progress is going to happen at the appropriate time. Communication and movement forward will happen at the appropriate time. Wheel, this is the destiny card. It's the wheel of fortune that he will move towards his destiny at the appropriate time. And then he got the queen of cups. And this is divine feminine. Trust me, I clarified it two times because she came up in the environment and then she came up in the overall energy. Actually, I take that back. I clarified it three times. And that was before I did the karmic reading. So I'm even more confident because I did the karmic reading that this is divine feminine. And divine fem, I clarified this queen of cups and I got the queen of pentacles. And sure enough, divine feminine is queen of pentacles in her external environment. So he is seeing her as someone that he is going to release control over. He's going to trust the universe, trust the divine, that communication and progress will occur and the wheel will move towards her, his queen of cups, queen of pentacles in the appropriate time. I love it. I just feel like he's really letting go of his control issues, which means he's letting go of his ego. What is happening for our divine feminine? You know, she's had a tough time. So I did a reading, a live earlier this week where Divine Feminine was really challenged. She was feeling sadness. She was feeling anxiety. She was feeling stress. And she, her overall energy is the distorted feminine. This is why she's not in her heart space at this time. The distorted feminine, when she comes up, this is the energy of, you know, recognizing the areas that you still need to heal recognizing that you need to release some of these negative patterns in your life and live fully and happily in the present moment. This discernment with the seven of pentacles, you can't be stuck in this over evaluation of what is happening in your connection, what is happening in his relationships. I mean, he doesn't have one, but whatever in his life, she needs to release that and focus on what she is going to create for her own life. So she's distorted at this time. She's distorted at this time. She's in an energy where, you know, she could be in her negative emotions. She can be in depression. She could be in neediness. Maybe she's going round and round in circles about her thought process and what's happening. Maybe, you know, she's getting triggered. There's pointless drama. Maybe she's not feeling attractive. Maybe she feels powerless. Okay. There's a lot of different energies and take what resonates. But what she really needs to do is she needs to detach and surrender this energy of this distorted feminine. And that's what she's going to work on here with the full moon. So I said, okay, in her overall energy, she's distorted. What about it? It's Knight of Cups. She's just unsure how to move forward in any romantic way with, with Divine Masculine. I mean, obviously, it's Divine Masculine. What does that have to do with Seven of Swords? She just feels like there's sabotage. There's untruths. She's still trying to release this, you know, behavior. I really feel like this is her self-sabotage now and it comes with judgment and so this is just you know her her judgment this discernment is starting to sabotage her growth and her ascension a little bit this desire to move forward in love is so needy so deep a little clingy that you know she's it's starting to sabotage her judgment it's starting to sabotage her judgment that is why during this full moon she is going to release this energy of distorted feminine to get back into her power okay i think she's just obsessing over social media maybe over what she's seeing what she's not seeing even okay because i feel like the masculine's gone a little quiet and maybe hasn't posted as much or whatever but there's definitely an energy of like she's a little confused right um because he's enlightening he's releasing he's letting go he's coming into his healed masculine and now she's a little off kilter all right so i think it's interesting how they dance it's very interesting how they dance with each other about their own healing so there's a lot of similar energies but there's a lot of um polarities in their energy too whereas he's healing and she's getting distorted again but i love the fact that in this full moon she is really planning to release this over analysis this over this obsession perhaps that she's having around you know what maybe he's done in the past how he's 
betrayed her in the past and now that repetitive thinking that repetitive story is sabotaging her enlightenment and her judgment so let's go ahead and get started um, with the energies of the theme for the reading by the way the bottom of the deck for divine masculine and feminine's um, release and initiation energy during the moon is the knight of swords a lot of truth is going to come out a lot of clarity a lot of mental anguish is going to be released a perceived control will also be released bottom of the deck for their overall energies is the page of swords so they're definitely in an energy of thinking observing but not communicating and so he's in an energy of thinking and observing and surrender and she's in an energy of thinking um thinking and observing um in a way that is actually clouding her judgment okay so now um let's go to the bottom of the deck head heart and environment for divine masculine and feminine here in um their overall energies for head heart and environment so we have angel of strength and memories of love so this is definitely an energy of you know through their memories of love this is six of cups energy through this soul connection through this understanding about how they're feeling about each other and how how strong their connection is they are starting to rise in their power they are starting to rise in their strength and I can't help but see here, this is the number five. 50 is a five, and this is six. This is the number 11, master number 11. There is a spiritual truth, a spiritual awakening that is continuing to occur here in their memories of love, of their soul connection. And so now let's go to bottom of the deck, head, heart, and environment for divine masculine specifically, and that is the knight of pentacles and the hierophant. This is him and his energy, which is the match to the high priestess, is that he is awake, he has a spiritual truth, he has his spiritual answers, he understands what is happening in this connection, and he's being very loyal and thoughtful and slow about how to approach divine feminine. Bottom of the deck for divine feminine, her overall head, heart, environment is the two of pentacles with the eight of pentacles. She's trying very, very hard at this time to balance herself, to balance herself, to get right back into the divine feminine energy because she does feel herself slipping and purging and shedding some negative emotions, thoughts, and patterns at this time. So she's very trying very hard to gain her balance again, to really regain her balance, okay? By the way, bottom of the deck for this Queen of Cups energy that I um, clarified, which is Divine Feminine, is the Ten of Pentacles. For Divine Masculine, there is no one else that he wants to build a legacy, a life, a family, a, a, a relationship with than Divine Feminine. That is his truth. That is his truth. And that is what he knows as he ascends and as he moves forward in his life and as he surrenders control to the universe that he knows that there's no other partner for him than his divine feminine okay so let's go ahead and get started with divine masculine headspace first card out for him is triumph this is the chariot and community so when these cards come out you know triumph is the chariot card right triumph is also um, a number seven which is about spiritual truth so when this chariot card comes out, this is all about the power of your soul is nudging you, pushing you steadily to move forward. He's setting goals. He's planning a journey. He's really, you know, wanting to manifest triumph. Triumph is success. And he's got a goal in mind and he's visualizing it. He's understanding it. He's surrendering himself to the divine to be led and this is reminding him that, you know, he doesn't have to be alone with all of life's ups and downs and the challenges. This is the time that he knows that he needs to tap into the powerful, powerful knowledge of himself and of others and inner resources even that are within him. And now this is coupled with the community card, which is another number seven. He's got two sevens. Again, telling you if seven is a life path number, this is a very specific message. So um, he's looking for harmony. So in this community card, when it comes up, this community card is all about connection with kindred spirits, right? This is all about community. This is about people that are like-minded, 
This is about people, you know, that maybe he's talking to, spending time with, so that he can be successful with his divine feminine. But this is also, you know, um, the time where he's understanding that he needs to go towards connections that match him. This is also kind of like, you know, like this, like the family card in this deck where it's about, you know, um, the universe is, is putting him in a situation where he can have a beautiful alliance. This is where he can, you know, celebrate his success and, you know, have, have reunion perhaps. And I really feel like that's what he wants is this reunion. He wants to move towards success and reunion with his feminine okay because she's in his overall energy she's in his overall energy but right now he just does not know how to communicate with her how to come forward to divine feminine so when he thinks about her he's thinking of his success he's working with people maybe getting advice talking to people about how to have success in his connection first card out for him when he thinks about it is magician he wants to manifest he feels strong he feels like he has the wisdom the passion the pentacles the stability the emotions to now manifest something but it's a burden ten of wands the burden is you know justice how am i going to set things right how am i going to come forward with an apology because he's now in his emotions king of cups matched the queen of cups he's now in his emotions how do i come forward as the king of wands and take action now towards my divine feminine and give her this justice it is unclear but i'm telling you in this moon's energy is where he's going to find the clarity in his release he will find the clarity and receive the intuitive message about how to come forward and give divine feminine justice and look at how many kings came out just in his headspace. Not only is divine masculine the magician, but he's the king of cups, the king of wands, and now the king of pentacles. Okay? It's insane. So he's now this king of pentacles who wants to go towards his queen of pentacles, which is divine feminine. There's a match to everything, by the way. This king of cups is the match to the queen of cups. This king of pentacles is the match to the queen of pentacles. This king of wands is the match to the queen of wands, which is in her headspace. So in this king of pentacles energy, he's ready to give her a stable offer, ace of pentacles, a stable new beginning. And he wants to end ten of swords, this pain and indecision and this crossroads that he was in. He's done. He's done being stuck. He feels like he's in his power. He's coming forward as healed divine masculine. And that's because maybe he's you know, he's, he's surrounding himself with people that are vibrationally aligned with him, his tribe. He knows now that, you know, he wants high vibrational partners like his divine feminine. He's getting advice from people that are not, you know, um, in the shadows that are not in, you know, karmic or third party energies, right? He's staying away from them. He's fighting them off because he knows better. He has clarity. He wants success. So in his headspace, when he thinks about her, the, he's feeling strong and empowered, but this burden is how to manifest this apology now that he's mastered his emotions, he's mastering his ambition towards her with this triumph card, and now in the moon it's going to be realized and he is going to get the message because he's a stable king to come forward as the, with the ace of pentacles to offer that to, to divine feminine because he's done with the crossroads. He's like, I'm done being stuck with her. I'm done being, an indecis being indecisive about her. He's, he's made a decision that he wants to be with divine feminine. Okay, it can't be any clearer than that. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is for him to give to Divine Feminine. He knows it. Now, what is happening in Divine Feminine's headspace as related to Divine Masculine? Seven of Pentacles and Storm Warning. Remember, we got Seven of Pentacles in her release energy. This discernment was clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, okay? And so this is really bugging her, 
this this is creating a tower moment for her she's like i'm done waiting man i'm done i'm done on the divine timing blah 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 because she's in the distorted energy she's gone back to this 3d unhealed energy of you know i've been waiting for a long time blah blah, blah 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 whatever it is right but you know she's she's like i'm done she's created a tower in her headspace the thing i keep telling everybody this journey is not about union with the masculine this journey is not about waiting this journey masculine is teaching this to you now this journey is about surrender it's about serendipity it's about letting go it's about understanding that when this is meant it's going to happen and if it doesn't happen then it wasn't meant okay she's creating a storm in her headspace look at she's got a number seven as well he's got two sevens here's a seven here's a ten which is telling me she's going to complete this energy she's going to release this energy fully in this moon's energy today okay and if you're not then really work on it please now let's drill down further into her headspace it's a challenge for her she's in her head her her thinking her thinking is creating towers in her head and in her heart and this is self-sabotage this is why we have the seven of swords here with this distorted feminine is she's creating this sabotage thinking this this you know repetitive thinking is sabotaging her so first card out nine of wands when she thinks about her masculine right she's wounded she's not giving up three of wands but she's waiting in her wounds what about the three of wands it's creating confusion too many choices don't know what to do i don't know i don't have clarity page of swords so she just delays so she just observes and it doesn't serve her creates a tower this observation of her masculine this observation of the weight, this observation and getting in her head is disappointing her. And she's feeling like she's stuck. And then she stays in her wound. So then she feels defeated by the swords. What is this defeat over three of cups? I was like, okay, what's the three of cups? Six of cups. She's defeated over this union. He got the three of cups here too. They both want it. But these past memories, this past memory of their third party situations or things that got in the way have her feeling very defeated so then she goes into her high priestess mode trying to get into her intuition what about it queen of wands so those are very opposite energies you know instead of being in her silence and in her intuition and in her peace and in her all-knowing she goes into queen of wands which is you know what f this i'm out with or without you queen i said what about the queen of wands and the high priestess two of pentacles yeah she's in and out She's having a tough time with her intuition. What about the two of pentacles, the fool? So a couple of things. There's a little foolish energy, but there's also an energy of like, she's like, I don't even know if I'm going to have a new beginning. I don't know if I want a new beginning. I don't even know if I want to be on this journey. She's throwing herself a tower, okay? She's got a lot of imbalance at this time within her headspace. And her intuition, because she's not solid in it, she goes to her queen of wands energy, which is like, screw it. I'm cool. I'm good with or without you, queen. So what does that do? Eight of swords. Her success, her victory is stuck. Eight of swords. Right? This is about doing the right thing. This is about having victory over conflict. That victory is stuck when she is second guessing herself, when she is obsessing, when she is in weight, when she's not in her power. Victory is stuck. So now in his heart space, when he thinks about divine feminine, look at this four of wands, queen of swords. This is divine feminine because in her heart space, she ends up as queen of swords. He knows this is my twin. This is the person I want to lay roots with. This is the person I want. She is smart. She is wise. Yes, she has cut me with her words. Look at this four and 47. This is number 11 again. This is about stability. This is about foundation. This is about achievement. This is about being strong enough to face the queen of swords. Okay. So in his heart, when he's feeling for his feminine, what is he feeling in his heart space? First card out, it's the sun. He's starting to feel a little bit more positive about her now. He wants success. Why? Because he's feeling like the magician. He already got the magician here in his head space. He's feeling like the magician. I am ready. Hear me roar, <laughs> right? 
He's in an energy of success, of positivity. He's ready to manifest something equal. He knows she's his match. This two of wands energy that he's done with in his headspace, he's on the brink of being done with in his heart space. This two of wands clarified by the hanged man. He's going through further enlightenment. Okay, He's still trying to let go of some energies here in his heart space. What is that energy? Two of pentacles. The energy that he's trying to let go of is his two of pentacles, his juggling. What about it? Seven of swords that he juggled her. What about it? Seven of, uh, seven of cups that he juggled her with other people. And that left him nine of pentacles. Alone. Alone. Juggled who? Queen of pentacles. Who's queen of pentacles? Divine feminine. Who's queen of pentacles? Queen of pentacles is the divine feminine in her 3D space. So what about this juggle, this sabotage, this wrong choice that led him to be single queen of pentacles he juggled her right and now he has to work hard eight of pentacles why because he lost her five of swords so in his heart space he's not quite he doesn't have quite the clarity okay that he does in his head in his heart he still knows what he did to wound a divine feminine he is feeling like yes I want to rebirth this connection. I want to manifest equality and reciprocity. I'm ready to give to her. You know, hopefully she's ready to give to me again, right? This is the energy that he's in. He's in an energy of wanting to manifest, wanting to give. But, you know, he's, he's also in this energy of like, I'm, in, I'm stuck right now. I'm further trying to enlighten myself because I juggled her. I lied to her. There were other choices, and now Nine of Pentacles, now I'm alone, okay? And so who did he juggle? Who did he sabotage? Queen of Pentacles, because here it is again, Two of Pentacles. There's an imbalance in the connection, and this Eight of Pentacles, he just he tried to work hard, but he lost her. He lost her in the juggle. What is she thinking? I'm sorry, what is she feeling in her heart space when she feels for her masculine? She's feeling like she's having a breakthrough in her heart space a little bit, okay? She's like trying to uncover her truth. She's trying to gain clarity. She's going through healing, all right? So maybe, you know, she's going through healing, you know, in the 3D sense through coaching or therapy or, you know, self-help books. Or maybe she's doing healing with a healer in Reiki or, you know, the energetic healings that I do. There's an energy here of healing her heart space because the heart space is and her head space is what's keeping her distorted. So there's an energy of healing that's happening for her in her heart space particularly. It's the heart that fuels the mind. It is the wound in the heart that keeps the mind unhealthy. So if she heals her heart, then it will heal her mind. First card out for her heart space when she feels for Divine Masculine, Page of Swords. She's observing. She's not talking to him. She's observing. And this observation is a big burden. This observation has caused this tower right here, tower in her head space. This like this looking at him, this observing him, this delay of communication that she's trying to heal has created a tower in her heart that is affecting her mind. She goes into full-blown blown Queen of Swords. Who is the Queen of Swords? right here in his heart space. What about the Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups? She's like, I don't know if he's gonna come over. Judgment, she doesn't know. She's in her head, over-evaluating, overthinking. Remember, judgment came out here with the Seven of Swords. And so now, that's what I'm getting, is this in this Queen of Swords energy, it's a little bit of the shadow. It's a little bit of the shadow because this observation, this delay of communication, this desire to heal, you know, she still has to work on it because it's keeping her heart closed and it's keeping her in her head, in her head space. And this wound that she's still working on healing is keeping her mind very occupied with self-sabotaging thoughts. So what about the heart space? Four of cups. This is about repetitive patterns. This is about a closed heart. This is about not being open to a blessing, which is this divine masculine. Four of swords, this is what she's healing. She's really working hard to heal her heart space. Okay, but she has conflict, five of wands. There's conflict between her head and her heart. All right, what about it? Knight of wands, there's this energy of, you know, romantic wanting to rush in, but seven of swords. She's like, no, he's, that's who he is. That's who he is. And he betrayed me, sabotaged the connection. He's a Casanova. He's a player. This is what she keeps telling herself in her heart. 
that keeps her heart wounded that then fuels her mind. And then she gets a tower in the head and the heart. What about the Seven of Swords? Knight of Pentacles. So this is the energy. She's got to slow down her thinking. She's got to slow down her thinking. She's got to be, you know, more analytical and more thoughtful and not be fueled by her pain. I get it. I get it, feminines. I get why you're distorted. I know. There were third parties. There were karmics. There were lies. There were illusions. There was disrespect. I mean, I don't know. You know, there, there. I know. Actually, I do know. There were, there were a lot of those things that have you feeling this energy again. She came through in so much power over the last few weeks, and this, this full moon has brought this all back to the forefront. To have you finally purge and release this tonight. Okay, so what's happening in the environment of the masculine? Look at him, Hierophant, an angel of balance. This Hierophant card, this is all about the contract. This is all about his spiritual truth. This is all about his wisdom. Look at, he's got the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. He knows that this is something. He knows that he's integrating his spirituality into his 3D world and understanding that this is a divine partnership. This is about him understanding that she is his divine partner, that they're like-minded, that they're kindred spirits, that this is a soul connection. And what does this have to do with with the angel of balance? Well, it has to do with him now making choices that honor him. He's centered. He's divine masculine. He's got a solid foundation, personal balance now in his 3D world. Things that were out of sync in the past are now balanced out. There's equilibrium. He's very centered about the spiritual truth. So now what else is happening in his environment as related to divine feminine? Okay, here's the second and third time that I clarify that Queen of Cups because, you know, I had to because I know she's distorted. So for those of you who are watching in a distorted energy, I hope this really, you know, calms your mind a little bit and gets you out of your own Seven of Swords energy. First card out, Five of Swords for him. He, this is about a card of loss and defeat. So Seven of Wands, he's a little guarded. He's fighting his way through conflict, wheel. Remember, we got the wheel right here towards his Queen of Cups. Wheel, he wants to move towards his destiny. Who's his destiny? Queen of Cups. And I was like, oh, man, this is before I had clarified the, the queen. I said, okay, what about the Queen of Cups? The fool. So he wants to move towards his destiny, have a new beginning. What about the fool? Lovers, this divine partnership. But then I was also like, this is also choices. So then I asked Spirit with the same tarot deck, clarify who this Queen of Cups is, and we got the Queen of Swords. And so this was now the second time that I clarified the Queen of Cups energy. So the first time here, I'm sorry, the first time here, I got the Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. So I already knew that that's divine feminine. Then the second time I went in and did it, I clarified his overall energy and I got the Queen of Pentacles, which is what she is in her environment. And then now the third time that I did it, I got Five of Wands. There's conflict with the Queen of Cups. Eight of Wands, remember, there's a dupe. He wants Eight of Wands. He wants to communicate and move towards Queen of Cups. So here's another confirmation that Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles is Divine Feminine. So I said, all right, who's Queen of Cups? We already know it's Queen of Swords. That's who she is. We already know it's Queen of Pentacles. That's who she is. In a whole other tarot deck, who the heck is Queen of Cups? Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Where do we just get the Queen of Wands? Right here in her headspace. So in his environment... He's making self-honoring choices. He's very centered. He's in his spiritual truth. He knows that divine feminine is his divine feminine. And so because there's been conflict with his queen of pentacles, okay, with this five of swords comes out, comes out two times. It's in his heart and now it's in his environment. He's a little guarded, seven of wands. He's a little guarded about how to move forward into his destiny, right, into a new beginning, into this divine partnership when she may be in a fiery energy when she may be in a cutting energy so he pauses seven of pentacles he pauses why does he pause five of wands dupe here to the clarification because he's in conflict and that makes him sad 
He's sad. He gets regretful about the past and what he's done in the past. What about this five of cups, three of wands? It puts him in weight. What about justice? And here we go full circle here to the justice that he wants to give to divine feminine, to the apology, to, to doing right by her. That's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. That's what he's gaining strength to do. That's what he's waiting to do. Okay. Now what's happening in her environment? Look at this. Crown chakra all tied up. I've got so many sevens in this. Okay. Here we got a number seven with community, number seven with triumph. We've got, um, uh, we've got seven of swords, seven of cups. We've got seven of wands. We've got, I mean, just so many, so, so many. And now with her, I have seven of swords, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. We have seven of pentacles here as well, two times. We have the seven of swords in her heart. And now we've got another number seven. Seven is a huge thing. Seven is about spiritual truth, spiritual seeking, spiritual answers. There has been a huge, huge awakening, a continued awakening that has happened in this connection at this time. So for her, she's all tied up in her crown chakra. She can't figure it out. She can't get it right. She's just like, I don't know if I should be peace out or if I should listen to my intuition that tells me everything's going to be okay. Okay, she's her in her environment. She is really at a battle and she's all tied up in her distorted intuition, her divine masculine and distorted feminine and just divine feminine and distorted feminine energy. Her crown chakra is all tied up. Okay, so now let's go further into her environment. So that really shows me why she didn't come out as Queen of Cups because she's just unwilling to be in her heart space at this time. And I get it, I get it, I get it. And I'm gonna, you're going to understand it more. Well, you probably already understand it if you're going through it, but here's more reasons of why. And, and here's what's happening in her environment. Six of Cups, there's this memories, there's this soul connection, there's this uh, past connection. These are also memories of Knight of Wands, of his Casanova days, of his in and out energy. It puts her into conflict. Five of Wands. Who's her? Queen of Pentacles. Who's Queen of Pentacles? Right here in his heart. Who's Queen of Pentacles? The clarified of Queen of Cups. Who's Queen of Cups? The one he wants. Okay? So there's conflict. Queen of Pentacles. She's in conflict about Seven of Wands. I mean, Seven of Pentacles. Again. She's like, I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. I want success, son. I want happiness. I want peace. I want regeneration. What about the sun? High priestess. She just wants to get back to her illumination again. But this four of cups energy, this repetitive pattern that she's now replaying, she's gotten it two times here in her heart and now in her environment, has her stuck. But there's an end. Ten of swords. She's trying to end this pain. What is the ten of swords? She's trying to gain her clarity. What about? She's trying to have a breakthrough around three of swords. She's trying to heal. Sun card. She's really, really, really trying to heal, to rebirth from this pain. I feel like these old wounds, this old third-party wounds have come back again for Divine Feminine. I just feel like she's in an energy where she's reliving this pain of betrayal, of sadness, of you know, of loss over and over and over again. And she's healed. She had healed from it. But now something has triggered her or the memories of the past have triggered her and she's created a storm, a tower in her headspace. And she's created a tower in her heart. And so in her environment, she just can't, she doesn't feel like she can trust her intuition. She feels like her intuition is all tied up based on her nostalgia, based on the past because she's been waiting. She's been waiting. Okay, remember, you're not here to be in a waiting room. If you get stuck in the energy of wait, it's been so long and blah, 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 then boy, you're going to stay tied up in this energy and you're going to forget that this energy is about union of self. It's not about union with, it's not about union with just a man, okay? That's not what it's about. So now what's going on with the connection? What's going on with the connection? Connective energy. Four of wands, nine of wands. A lot of four of wands today. He's got it here. And we got it here at the bottom of the deck. 
This is about we haven't given up on this connection. We are wounded, but we haven't given up on this connection. First card out, death. Okay? There's an ending here in this connection. What is the ending? Knight of Swords. This ending was this brutal truth, this communication, this pain and anguish. This is all of the stuff that we are releasing. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck for the release energy and the initiation energy. So this is really telling me that we're going to have a death and a rebirth of communication. Whatever ended it now will be reinitiated, rebirthed. And people will come forward in a better way. Okay? This hanged woman, hanged man card. The emperor. Yeah, absolutely. In his heart space. He's in suspension. He's still letting go of things. Magician. There's a desire to manifest. He got it one, two times. This is divine masculine. He's, he's in an energy of the hanged man. It, because he really wants to manifest and he's waiting. Three of Wands. What is he waiting for? King of Swords. This is the only king he didn't come up as today. That's that energy of integrity, of truth, of logic to match that Queen of Swords. Okay? So this in this death and rebirth energy, the masculine is suspended in the emperor energy because we're finally going to come into his final king energy of the king of swords for him to be that full divine masculine that gets initiated tonight in the moon. So what about the moon? Judgment. There will be a birthing of divine masculine. There will be a rebirth of this connection. There will be a healing of distorted feminine's judgment in this moon energy today. And here's that healing, the star card, this destined connection. There will be healing. What are we going to heal? This indecision, two of wands. What are we going to heal? Two of pentacles. We're going to heal the imbalance in the connection. And we're going to move towards reunion, six of cups. What about the six of cups? The tower. This tower that affected our connection, we're now going to be strong enough to move through it to rebuild the four of wands. That is the energy for this full moon in Leo. Let me know if this resonated, guys. And if you want to book your own healing session or if your own personal reading, go to queenalight1111.com. And just as a reminder for the healing session, you've got to send me your pictures first, unfiltered, for me to review and approve. And once I get that, I will let you know if I can work with you and you can book the healing session. I will tell you, feminines, if you are in this energy, look at um, the comments in my in that post where I'm giving away the free reading, some people have stated how that healing session has absolutely helped shift th things within themselves and within their connection. So if you want to book your healing session, you've got to email me a picture. I will let you know if I can work with you and then you'll have 24 hours to book the healing session. In the healing session, I will look at your blocks and we will talk about your blocks and I will coach you on those. And then I will go through your energy and that of your twin. And I will heal the energies that are blocking your movement forward. And then when we come out of that meditation for the healing, I will tell you why it was there and how you can keep it out of yourself and your connection. That healing session is no joke. It is a big deal and it takes a lot of energy and time. And um, if you are interested in that, then go to queenalight1111.com, look at the service description, then send me an email with your unfiltered picture and I will approve it or let you know if I can work with you. But for any other service, any other reading, go to queenalight1111.com and book your session there. Have a good full moon, everybody. Love you guys. Bye.